So today we will be talking about memory mapping of body executable files. So what is memory mapping actually? Um, mapping is in, in this context, it's part of the loading process of a body executable file. And it means you, um, the certain ranges of physical addresses are translated to ranges of virtual addresses. So physical addresses are the ones that are on disk and the virtual addresses are the ones that you see in memory when the files loaded there. Um, all right, so our example file has two sections which are translated to memory and then there's an overlay on disk. Um, the overlay is not mapped into memory. So the memory um, mapping will also contain the headers, it will contain the sections, it will not contain the overlay. Um, any, um, well, the, the space that I fill out here with garbage is just not used, so it will usually just contain zeros. Um, and um, yeah, the whole, or the, the whole portion of memory that is allocated is in a value in the optional header that is called size of image. The um, um, the size of headers, that's also in the optional header, will tell how much of the headers has to be um, mapped. So it starts at the at offset zero for, for on disk and in memory it will be uh, starting at the base address. Um, the base address is the first byte in memory, and like the address of the first byte in memory, and that's not the same as uh, on disk. So, sections sections are um, their physical and virtual location is written down in the section table. And every section has a physical start that is the pointed raw data and the size of raw data that's the physical size. Now the size and memory may be different than on disk and the start of this section in memory is the virtual address and the virtual size is the virtual, well, yeah, the size and memory. So that way the sections are mapped right here, or the addresses are mapped, so you have equivalent um, addresses in the section table. So, and as I said, first byte on this is zero, uh, and here the most common base address is 400,000 in hex, which is the uh, defined, the preferred base address for an image is the image base, so that's also a value in the optional header. So most of the time, the base address will be the image base. Um, all right, let's do this by example. So in our example section, two pointed raw data is 2750 and the size of section two will be 250. So it ends at 3000. Uh, and in memory, the section two will start at which address 4000 plus the image base and it will have a size of 1000, so it ends at uh, 5000 plus image base. And knowing this, we can um, now calculate or translate addresses, convert them from virtual addresses to physical addresses or the other way around. Let's do this by example. Let's say we have a virtual address First, you have to determine where it's located. In our case, it's in section two. If it was in section one, you will have to use the values for section one, but now it's in section two. Um, so this address is, uh, for instance, um, 4100 in plus image base. And what you do first is you subtract from it the virtual address of section two in this case. If it was in section one, you would uh, subtract 
the virtual address of section one. And then you add the point of view raw data for section two. So you have to add it, not to subtract. That's actually a plus there. And uh, so our result would be 2850 for the conversion from this virtual address um, 400,000, 4,100. And 400, 4,100. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it already. Thanks for watching. See you next time.